Good evening. Oh, wait, why does this feel like it don't have no... Uh, it feels like it don't have no laminate over it. That's kind of weird. Oh, come on. I know y'all couldn't hear. MJ was uh, uh, being disciplined. <laughs> well, getting fussed at about not cleaning up. So I couldn't have y'all hear my, my child getting yelled at. Um, so, yes. Um, I am going to just go through this, cutting it out. It doesn't take me long to cut out a foam board. So this may not be a, lot, a long video. I cannot see. Actually, I guess let, I can put the comments here. Uh, let's see. All right. So I can at least see comments. All right, so I'm just going, you're going to see me basically just go through this process to cut these out. Um, yes, I did not have to. I'm so glad I did not have to print them in sections this time. I printed all out on my rolling, laminated. And at first I was about to have it cut, which it actually did cut this one. Then I remembered I have to cut it from foam board anyway. So yeah, that was kind of pointless. Um, so yeah. I'm about to cut this out. This was printed on my rolling. Yes, this is vinyl.
All right, so let's see. Um, so yes, from the Roland. Um, thank you. Um, it's printable vinyl, but not from an Epson or anything like that. It is Eco Solvent Ink, an Eco Solvent printer. It's from my Roland. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, vinyl. It's kind of like print and cut, but I didn't have the machine cut it. I'm going to cut it myself because I had to put it on the phone board anyway. No, I don't do the backs because if there was wording on it, it would be backwards and where this is going, you don't need to see the back. So I only do it one-sided. Um, and my phone is about to go dead. Yep, I'm not going to be able to see anything over here in like two seconds. Ooh, I don't know if y'all saw. Oh, Lord, I was bending down. Hopefully y'all ain't see my crazy hair. Because <laughs> uh, it is definitely crazy over here. Actually, I need to change this. The ones that these came with are actually quite dull. They aren't really sharp, sharp. Hmm, I'm actually not liking the edges of the laminate as my um as my blade goes through this is denting the laminate. I'm actually not really liking that. Oh goodness.
parenting moment again. Um, and now I'm trying to find my blades because this one is dulling out already. Hold on. And I just broke this one. Yay. Okay. So let's see. Uh, the foam is Elmer's foam board. You can get it from Walmart, Hobby Lobby, um, Michael's. Um, this is not printed on paper. This is printed on vinyl. Um, I have no idea. I don't. Rem I don't remember how long this is. I maxed it out. Um, I know her head is eighteen inches wide because I had to max her out based off of her head. But I don't remember how tall she is. I'm not liking this blade.
I have quite a few of these too. I'm not going to do them all tonight. So when I do mine, oh, my phone scared the crap out of me because it went dead. I don't rush through it. I go through several passes, and that's how I get clean cuts. Her hair is going to drive me nuts. That's what I'm going to have to take time on. So I'm going to skip around the intricate parts of her hair because, yeah. Um, and the the laminate on this is making my do my blades... Uh, dull out faster because of the adhesive. Now I kind of wish I did cut it out where I cut away the adhesive because it's dulling out my blade as it goes through the adhesive part. So now I kind of wish I did go around it. All right, so I don't kill these. I'm going to go around the adhesive part with my Dollar Tree one just to cut, just to score through it and remove that vinyl because it's making my blade dull too fast. See, it's a cleaner edge.
Um, let's see. Um, okay, so let me talk through this um, now that some people come on. All right, this is not something that you can do with your, well, you can, but not with this size. This print was not done on an Epson printer. It was done on my Roland. This is AuraJet vinyl, not paper. This was done on a large format, a 20 inch Roland cutter. Can you still create these with your silhouette? Yes, you would just have to break this up into small pieces. And from like your desktop printers, you would have to, um, you're not gonna have a vinyl. Whenever I did these like this previously, I would just print it to my regular cardstock, put adhesive on the back and then put it onto the foam board. But having my Roland makes this process a little bit easier because it does it as one big print and it is on vinyl. The laminate for this is what's called a cold laminate. So basically it's just adhesive paper and I have this big like laminator and it goes, I put it through there and it lays the laminate down flat. So it's basically like just clear adhesive. So this is not done with a traditional craft cutter um, or printer. Now, is there a way to do this with regular items? Yes. I uh, showed before where I took um, a piece of foam board. It was covered in laminate. So I put the laminate on with my heat press and then I sublimated it on to the laminate. So can you do that? Yes. Is that, if, is that what this is? No. And this is Elmer's foam board. I never, ever, ever, ever use Dollar Tree. I use Dollar Tree. It's for the underlayment that you're supposed to have under your, um, what are these things called? Under your foam board to cut. But I never use, I never use Dollar Tree foam board for any of my actual projects or orders. And then these are just exacto knives. This is the one from the Dollar Tree. Um, this is a cheaper one. So I'm using it to cut through the laminate and the vinyl that's there because it, um, it's putting adhesive on my blade and making it dull faster.
I rather keep changing it out to get clean cuts than trying to force it through and get bad cuts. So what I'm doing now is just going around it and cutting away the extra vinyl and the laminate. In hindsight, I wish I would have let it cut the machine cut this part because then I just could have had the actual just basically just a whole sticker and I would have had the extra part on here. But I wasn't thinking I actually stopped it in the middle of cutting it. So. What's the difference between the Elmer's and the Dollar Tree? The quality of it. The Dollar Tree one is just like a paper. I don't know. It's like the, the top layer is just like paper and the foam is like soft. The foam here is a lot more dense. Um, this is um, not principal vinyl for a regular printer. It's Orajet for an eco solvent printer and Roland BN20. Yep, thicker and better quality.
Okay, so it's going to take a little bit more detail work for me to get around the little parts of her hair. So it's not going to be quite the full picture, but you get the idea. Yeah, the rest of her hair is going to be a lot more. And then this one right here is going to be super detailed. So I'm going to... Um, on the other ones, I think I'm going to cut around. I'm going to fully cut around it before I put it on the board. Because this right here is for the birds. Yeah, let me do that. Give my hand a break real quick. I definitely should have let the machine cut this. I used to do everything by hand. So I'm pretty good with cutting because I used to cut um, silhouettes much easier to use than what? Um, silhouettes much easier to use than what? I mean, I could have let the rolling cut this, but I didn't. So I have to cut it by hand. But silhouette definitely isn't much easier to use than this. Um. Uh, I don't even remember how much it was because we got the laminator and some other stuff and I have the metallic ink. So mine was pretty pricey. I think I paid almost $9,000, I think. Oh, then the Cricut. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, Hey, 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 Gina. What brand of principal vinyl are you using? Sorry, missed the beginning of this video. Your image. This is not something that you can do on a reg. It's not regular principal vinyl from a desktop printer. This was done with a Roland BN20 um, printer and cutter. So it's a eco solvent printer. So it can print onto adhesive vinyl and HTV. And it's Orajet vinyl. I actually prefer Oracle 651, but they didn't have any. So I had to settle for the Orajet.
I'm so mad I didn't let the darn thing cut this now. I am thoroughly upset at myself. I was like, oh, whatever. I have to cut through it anyway. I forget about cutting through the vinyl. Oh my gosh, the heck? Um, yes, and this isn't even on like the standard. I printed this on draft and it still came out pretty good. It took forever to print though. Um, to print all of the ones that were on here, it was two hours. Um, I will say that the Roland is not a fast printer. So if you're looking for something that's going to print as fast as, say, like a regular desktop, it's not going to. This would have printed faster from my Epson um, 7720, but, you know, of course, not onto vinyl and the quality wouldn't be like this and I couldn't do it that big. But it takes forever to print. It took two hours to print this. And that was on draft. God bless you. This is the boring part of this, but this is part of the process. I used to do these by hand all the time. All of my cutouts were by hand before. So this is nothing to me.
I actually prefer cutting this way, but of course this is time consuming. And when it comes to these, time is money. I mean, I got cameos and things I could do it faster, but the precision I get with cutting it by hand, I could never get this type of precision with a cameo. Don't get the metallic ink. Get the if you're not going to print to a lot of clear items, don't get um, white either. Get the magenta. Um, it's just a different type of ink, and I wanted the magenta for football helmets and things like that. And I didn't even I I haven't even used it yet. The magenta. I've just had to clean them and do a print head cleaning and like a nozzle check. But I have not printed anything from my metallic yet because you have to put it as a spot color. So I would not recommend that you get metallic unless you really, 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 really have a need for metallic. Um, get the double magenta. You cannot sublimate directly to the foam board. It is um, not coated for it. It's just paper. Um, I have done where I have put laminate, you can't, um, with the foam board, it won't stay thick. It will flatten it out. With these, I need them to be thick. So um, putting heat to foam, of course, will melt it. So sublimating on this is not an option. But yes, I have done that. Most likely not because it's going to be too thick. Yes, it's basically a giant sticker. Um, um, okay, my friend has a 7710. It broke. What printer would you recommend uh, for getting a new one? I have a full video um, about printers. Um, the game has changed when it comes to printers. It's not an easy choice anymore um, because you're either going to get an eco tank, which I'm not a big fan of. The only eco tanks that's going to give you like the most accurate color um, is the 16600 and the 16650. If you have a thousand dollars to drop on that printer, by all means, do so. Um, but know that should anything happen like major happen to it and you get a clog there is no way to remove that ink out there is no way to perform any real maintenance on it other than trying to do power cleans which um, i don't care how big or small your printer is you only get two power cleans um so it's just not like it's not the greatest um, option. So it's the 16, I mean, the 16,600 is $1,000. The 16,650 is $1,124. So if you're not looking to spend that kind of money, your next um, option down as far as eco tanks is going to be the 8550, which retails for 700, I think it's 699. Um, again, I'm not a big fan of eco tanks. I actually can't stand eco tanks. Um, I like cartridge-based printers. A lot easier to fix and maintain than eco tanks. People think, oh, you just put the ink in and go for eco tanks. But whenever something goes wrong, it's a headache. So after that, workforce-wise, the replacement for the 7710, 7720, um, 7210 are the 7840, 78, well, 7820, 7840. 7310 and EC C7000. 
Those are cartridge based, workforce cartridge based printers. Only thing with those is as of right now, there is no reset option for the chips with those particular printers. So you have to basically treat it like a traditional printer where once the ink goes out, you go out and you buy a cartridge. Well, you know, you normally go buy a cartridge, but you don't have to just, you don't have to keep buying cartridges. You just buy the chips. So a set of XL cartridges from Epson would run you $130. Well, our chips are just $60. And then, so, and yeah, you just have to replace, you don't have to replace the cartridge. You can leave the ink in there, but you will have to replace the chips. Because there is no reset option, um, you're going to end up having a lot of stoppage because let's say your cyan goes out. If your magenta was right behind it, you either sacrifice the couple of prints that's left on there and change out the magenta chip as well. Or you take the chance of just going to, to, to continue to print until the magenta goes out. Um, but again, that's going to be a stoppage in your prints. So you're going to ruin prints that way. Um, I have an Epson, I haven't, I got an Epson Eco Tank and I took it back. I could not get accurate print colors for anything ended up with a cannon. Oh, you mean for just regular prints? Not for sublimation. You just mean for regular prints? Were you using the actual Epson ink or were you using a third party ink? I was so mad. Um, there was actually no good picture of JJ in regular clothes. He's like, the only good pictures are of him in his pajamas. I searched high and low for a really good, high resolution image of him in the regular clothes with the book bag and could not find one. There's one like on the internet, but it's very pixelated. Yeah, I don't know about the eco tanks as far as their colors. Um, it's also in what print settings you use. I've never really had an issue with my workforce printers. They use pigment ink, and I've never had an issue with those. Regular eco tanks use dye ink. And yes, he has a mark here. When you're printing these, you have to be careful. I had to run back out there before it caught, because um, it was at the last part of it, and before it was fully dry, the vinyl touched his eye, so part of his eye got on his pajamas, but I was not printing it over. It will be okay. This is just for my cousin. Had it been for a client, I would have printed it over, but it's for my cousin, so I'm not worried about it.
The crazy thing is dye inks actually give you more color range. You have a larger color gamut with dye inks than you do pigment inks, but pigment is waterproof and you get really, really good vibrant prints. Um, this is printed with my pigment ink printer. This is on glossy paper. And I have some activity mats that's printed on matte paper. Hey, mommy, what time is this party? If you're still on. I don't even know what time this party starts. I'm looking back every so often. I mean, this is literally, this is a watch me work. This is what, if I, if I wasn't online, I'll be sitting here by myself just cutting. This has to be kind of dull and boring because I'm just cutting. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask those while I work on finishing these up so you guys aren't just watching me cut. So feel free to post your questions. I don't know what I was thinking starting this because I actually had turned on the heat press to press these shirts. And so now the heat press is just on. Okay. Oh. Oh no. I left. Let me actually see. Can I? Yeah, I'll get it up. So. I have 34 shirts to press. I told you we were soaking in the gems through your skin. Shut up. Oh my gosh. Hush, AJ. Oh my God. You're nuts. Okay. So, oh snap. I forgot about Cody. All right, I'll cut him afterwards. My giving my um wrist a break. So let's go back in and cut this one. Oh wait, did I already cut through this? The print looks amazing. What printer and ink do you use? 
Um, he said, I feel the magic. AJ Hush. Um, this is, um, hold on. Let me pull it up. Um, uno momento, uno momento, uno momento, uno momento. Be in, be in 20 laminator, cyan, magenta, magenta. Let's just go to this one and copy. Oh, I forgot we have a Zoom meeting. Yeah. Hey, Chica Mika. Um, I completely forgot. I um, I was on live. Uh, okay. y'all y'all are doing it on Zoom or via Messenger? We doing it on Zoom, but the the thing is in Messenger. I was just calling because we running out of dates. I only got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven dates left. Okay, you're on Zoom now. Yeah, we on Zoom right now. Okay, I'm coming. Okay, thank you, baby. Bye. Bye. We're trying to get uh, 25 days of craftmas together. All right, hold on. Let me show you guys the printer first. Uh, share screen. So this is the printer. It's a BN20. Um... So this one was 6,000. The one that I have is the one with the laminator, but I also have silver. Uh, where is the silver? I don't think I even got, I don't think I saved the link for silver because I don't recommend anyone get silver. That's the one with the white. I got the one with the laminator. Um, hold on. So with the laminator and magenta, magenta, it's 9,000. So yeah, I actually paid $10,000 for it. So that's with the lab. This is the laminator I have. Um, same exact machine. It's just that mine is with silver ink instead of magenta or white. And let's see, laminator with white is a little bit more because the white costs a little bit more. So it's 9,431 instead of 9,411. And the silver is much more than that. And I wish I would not have gotten the silver, but it is what it is. It's, oh, wait, wrong thing. Uh, where is rolling, 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 rolling? Um, Roland, where is silver? White, white, silver. Oh, uh, yeah. So actually, it was 9530 It was expensive for an ink that I don't even use. All right. Um, I have one. <laughs> I don't like to use it. I like exacto knives. I have one. Don't judge me. <laughs> I saw it on uh, an ad and I have one, but I like, I like, um, what's the name? So don't judge me. But okay, y'all, I got to go. I'll be back because I have to do these shirts too. But I was supposed to be on a Zoom call at nine o'clock and I completely forgot. So yeah, um, I got to go. <laughs> I shall talk to you guys later. Until next time, have a great one. Continue to unlock your creativity and be incredible. Peace.